So I would like to ask you, what do you uh, think and uh, of all this uh, fight against these pandemics and which are the, the areas you're going to pursue to keep going? Thank you very much for the floor. I would like, before everything, would like to thank the organizers of this uh, meeting, as well as the WHO, their engagement, commitment, and their advocates uh, to all the countries in order to fight and end cholera. The Democratic Republic of Congo wanted to control uh, in the, during the control of cholera, uh, has written a roadmap to end cholera in 2030. So this is the last annual review. We elaborated a multi-sexual approach to eliminate cholera, to identify uh, the hotspots where cholera is still present and the rapid detection and response for the pandemics, as well as putting in place a system linked to, um, in order to mobilize all the resources. My country elaborated in 2018 their third multicultural program, which was reframed in 2020 and um, taken on by the whole republic. Since 2010, my country has a, car, a, a mapping of all the hotspots of cholera and is ready to respond to the different epidemics. The pandemic situation in um, the cholera, of the cholera shows that there is 64 less incidents from 2017-2020 and 70% less of that. The progress accomplished by my country when we had to fight all the pandemics at the same time, and the reason we, we managed is because we could really coordinate all of the services. Uh, we put into place a technical secretary with a definite mission to end Ebola as well as the others, uh, pandemics as uh, cholera included. Because facing these pandemics, we organized the response. We based it on proof with strategic, strat uh, strategic plans in place, elaborated by the ministry with all the government's partners. The very off uh, frequent meetings about um, the, the, the way the, the disease is evolving are weekly. During these meetings, uh, all the pandemics, we have poliomyelitis, rubella, mumps, measles, and all of the other pandemics are put into review and um, analyzed. The response uh, of cholera in my country is multisectorial according to seven pillars of our NCP, the National Control Plan. The surveillance, uh, the wash, the dur durability of wash, the immunization and the research. There's a national committee uh, of um, the, e uh, the wash um, strategies. My country elaborated um, their uh, program for 2020 until 2030. And this is according to the law linked to this strategy started in 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, because of all these documents in this response, it is very hard to have all of these sectors uh, work together. This is why we really, really um, thank uh, and, and think that it's so important for our country to uh, put into place all the services so that the multisexual approach can actually take place. According to the immunization response according to, uh, against COVID, the GAVI, the GTFCC, the FGG, 
we would like to thank their involvement in these hotspots. Three out of seven provinces organized campaigns. The Kivu, South Kivu and Okatan. And over six million of vaccinated people in a few months. And now two more provinces will now uh, it will take place in Owani and Otawanika, who will give four million doses in order to start their preventive. Uh, and the constraints, we were able to lead the other campaigns as well. There was the control of infections campaign to protect the, um, the, immune, the people vaccinating and their, um, their, their patients. So I think we need to lead by example. For us, it is very important to to lead wash interventions and response in the cholera interventions all of these we uh, is is we is cooperated with experts so this is what uh, our progress in our country has um, how it looks like and the, all of the fights in as well from the local community has been um, a very great um, NGOs, governments, and community efforts together. The preemptive immunization in hotspots is, of course, very important and can also take place even though uh, the pandemic COVID 19 is taking place. This multisectoral approach and this control plan for the country has to be strengthened in order for our country to evolve towards we, uh, towards an elimination of the cholera. Thank you very much for giving uh, my country the, 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 the place here to express themselves, to share um, to share on our developments and thank you very much for this platform. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister of Health. And uh, thank you very much for this uh, very amazing response and clear about the um, RDC's response, even though they had so many more uh, challenges.